transit Neptune in Pisces trine natal Mercury in Cancer. You are more sensitive to music, drama, art, poetry, and mystical concepts during this relaxing and restful period. Your imagination can be expressed in writing, teaching, or inspiring others. It could be an ideal time for travel, vacation, or spiritual studies. Promotional schemes can bring excellent results. Use your intuition at this time to organize your work environment, inspire others, or promote an idea, a product, or service. Favorable for work in artistic, therapeutic, or social services fields. This is a period when you are more sensitive and caring towards others, even you can have healing effect on them. You have support from your family. As a result of this influence you identify with the suffering you see more strongly and you will sacrifice and care for family and friends, but you must keep your feet on the ground because you can't absorb and release the emotions of everyone around you, or open your door to everyone in need. Also, you are drawn to spiritual practices and techniques which bring peace to the soul. The transit of Neptune trine your natal Mercury is a period of great creative inspiration and imagination. And yet, your ability to tell what is real and what is imaginary is perfectly balanced, making this period more productive. You're able to communicate your visions more clearly so others understand. If you're a poet, writer, musician or artist, this is a very favorable time for artistic expression. Your intuition and your rational intellect are working together during this time. Usually the left and right sides of the brain work at cross purposes, but now they blend smoothly. Your mind is very fertile now. Your extrasensory perception is very sharp and your sensitivity and telepathic communication is increased. This favors communication with others at all levels. You can tell and understand what others are thinking or how they're feeling, even when they say nothing. You don't need many words, yet your communications are much more effective, and others feel good that you understand them. This is a fantastic period for explaining complex ideas, exactly as others need to understand them. You can express yourself clearly and concisely. If you are teaching, you can make others understand easily. Short, quick and to the point. This is also a great time to study any complicated subject. You understand complex issues almost without effort. You may have mystical or metaphysical experiences. But, you apply logical reasoning to spiritual matters because you want to know the truth, not just to feel good. Faith and reason are in a state of equilibrium. You now learn the limits of the rational mind and can now easily cooperate with intuition. Any psychic potential will be increased or will begin to manifest at this time love and private life. Sometimes people would like to believe everything just because it sounds so good. But is it possible that some things sound too good to be true right now? You do not know and must live with this uncertainty because you cannot simply ask for the truth. You are too cautious for this. Could it be that you are also afraid that the truth may destroy your pleasant assumptions? Pay some attention to your choice of words. You may now have the tendency to gloss over some things. Is it also possible that you are deceiving your partner? However, you may not need to pull the wool over anyone's eyes because you are well aware of your emotions. Then you can find wonderful words to describe what you are feeling in this state. It becomes easy to harmonize your feeling and thinking. If you are in love, words are very important. Words nourish your feelings, especially when your partner is not present. But when the two of you are together, words are not actually necessary anymore. This is the time for tenderness. Physical touch is important and makes you feel good. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.